Yo, 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 my people! Today we're gonna be building a treehouse in Bloxburg. This idea was most recently given to me by Mickey underscore ZX, where they said, Hi, could you make a treehouse? So, yes, let's make a treehouse. Last night I looked up treehouses on Google Images and this popped up. It's just absolutely stunning. So, yes, that is what we're using for inspo today. Into build mode we go. I have never built a treehouse in Bloxburg. I've only built one in The Sims before. So, this will be really interesting. I'm gonna start on the second floor and actually just build the structure first. I'm going for something pretty simple here and I don't know that it's gonna be an actual house. I'm thinking about doing like a little tea room or something. Just for the fun of it, I'm doing a little homemade bay window type of thing over here in the back. And I think that's our shape. It's really big actually. There we go. It's a smaller version of what we had before. Wait, this is so weird how this roof like, like look at that. What is it doing? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do the mansard roof. I really wish we could have curved roofs. I mean, I could make a custom one, but I don't think I'm about to do that right now. And then for this little side over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and give us a little slanted roof. I might wanna do the same thing over here too. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm thinking this should have been like on the third floor instead of the second floor. <sighs> Because realistically, that's not tall enough to get the look I'm going for. Darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> I wasn't going to keep this part in, but I figured out a way to make this process easier just in case, you know, you run into the same problem I do. <laughs> I'm just going to completely undo the roof and then we have just the walls and then I'm just going to copy it up here. At first, I was going to try to like just do it the same, but I was like, I'm going to not place it in the same spot and like I like where I placed it and everything. So we can just trace it. Oh, but then I can't undo the ones on the bottom that's the issue there whatever it's fine <laughs> back at it again we got the walls and the roof on the third floor this time i absolutely love how on the inspo pick it's like logs but vertical we really need some like vertical everything logs planks all of the above you know i'm really not actually mad about this it looks really good like this too <laughs> this roof is probably mostly gonna be covered up with greenery and things like that and leaves of course <laughs> but i'm gonna start it off just as normal shingles and then like a dark brown i think i did dark taupe yes and then not only do i want to have a floor on the inside of the treehouse of course we're also gonna need some floor on the outside i think i did see a comment recently that someone does like wood planks and then the long planks layered so we'll see if that works out no that completely takes over the other one <laughs> next up just for some details i think we'll do the plain pillar i'm gonna try to go for a twisted wood texture on those and it's also in pine cone color just fyi oh this is looking so cute like i can tell it's gonna look really good i'm excited <laughs> for the door i almost want just like an opening i don't know if i want this though kind of want to try the arched opening and just make it really big like so i feel like it kind of looks like a birdhouse somehow <laughs> but that's not what we're going for here it would be nice to have a bay window on here but is that too much i think i like it okay we've got a start on the windowing i might add a little bit more if i can fit them in something about this is making me think of like a pita bread build and i mean he always does l-shaped houses so that makes sense <laughs> and he does a lot of like crazy weird builds too so it's just like everything about this screams pita bread <laughs> but it's gonna have the nao tree touch once it's done you'll see one last thing that i think i'm gonna do for like the surface of the exterior of the house <laughs> is to detail this little archway here okay i'm learning the trick y'all when you place your first point you want to be on the big grid and then usually for this first one it's pretty okay but you look for the corners and you click there but in like the center of it for these smaller parts you start on the large grid right and then you go down to the small grid and then you click in the center in the corner because it's hard to actually get it completely right if you don't do it that way Ooh, looking good and for now this is pretty boring but we're gonna get into decorating the interior we'll come back to all the exterior stuff for last first of all these floors i think it would be really fun if we did some layered flooring two layers of the long planks and linen and then over here i'll color
color this one, same color linen, but then in logs. And then we'll do another layer of that over everything. And isn't she beautiful? It's been much too long since I've done this trick. And then we can just get rid of this one over here. <laughs> we do not need you. And since it is a tree house, I guess it'd probably be the same inside as outside. <laughs> this rustic round table to me is the most like tea party or tea time table. And yes, I do want to have the log chairs. And over here, we're going to have a bit of a kitchen, although it's probably not smart to have a stove in a tree house. But this is just where all the things are made for the tea parties. And this is what I meant by potentially adding more windows. I can definitely add one over here. And then I kind of want one up here too. I just feel like the more windows, the merrier. It would be so precious to have some bookshelves right here, right when you walk in. And then you can already sit over here on the bay window, but it would be super cozy to have somewhere else to sit too. One last major detail that I want in here is a custom rug. So we're gonna put down a transparent cube from Basic Shapes. And I'm gonna try to make this a little bit smaller. I still wanna be able to see it and I still want to easily be able to put a decal on here. And then you can just put that on any side of the cube. And then you use the transform tool if you have transform plus. And then you flip it up and I'm gonna flip this one like so. That's more, that's more our speed. And then we're just gonna put it pretty flat to the floor. And with a few more adjustments, I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh, yes. I was thinking I wanted to put this dish cabinet somewhere. Will it fit right here? And tell me there are mugs in here. There's no mugs. That would make it so perfect for a tea room. But I guess it still works. It still fits. I know this is like the very basic stuff on the inside. There's gonna be so much more when I'm done, but I am itching to get to the actual tree house part, like the tree part of the tree house. So I have an idea for this. We'll see how it works out. I think I'm gonna go for basic shape. I'm pretty sure these cylinders get very big. And by very big, I meant wide. Okay, yep, they definitely do. Ooh, I like how the tree in the inspo pit kind of, it's kind of got a little bit of a curve to it. So I might do something similar. Okay, was that perfect? I think it was perfect. <gasps> it was perfect. Oh wait, oh, it's a little bit short. How did I not just see that? And you see how this second one is like a little bit offset, both like this way. And then it also goes forward a little bit too. That right there is the base of our tree, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and color this. Oh my gosh, look at my avatar still cha-chaing over here. <laughs> the dance never stops. I'm a little scared because you know, I'm not used to doing this at all. But I think what I might do is like, do some of the largest rods as the base for the big roots that I'm gonna have. Maybe I'll have like three. Although that feels like it wouldn't be fully sturdy. So I'm gonna do a little one out here. <laughs> now I'm going in with the large round rods and kind of just adding to it. Actually, I just realized I shouldn't be doing the root yet because I actually need to kind of cover this whole trunk in a way. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a lot of work, y'all. And also extremely expensive. <laughs> and see, this is why I didn't wanna do the roots yet because now I'm gonna be covering it up. I just kind of forgot. Ooh, but maybe I should have done them because look, I feel like that actually helps it look better. One eternity later. Okay, this very base is done. Um, <laughs> I'm not the happiest with it, but I think if we add in some more smaller rods, it's gonna look better. It's looking a little rough right now, but it's getting there. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if we can get some branches going. I don't think these pillars get taller, do they? Oh, what am I saying? Of course they get taller. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like one of the things that really supports the house. Oh my gosh, it's working. We just gotta make sure that it doesn't go inside. It might a little bit, but oh, I was gonna say, but this is kind of covering it. It kind of is, but it's also showing the pillar. So we'll say that it works. I don't know. <laughs> and now that the pillar has done its job there, I'm gonna take it out a little bit further and do another branch and bring it out this way. Yas, queen. And guess what? Places like under, under this little floor are perfect because I can just go like that. I love how perfectly this is working. Oh my gosh. Oh, and you know what else? We still need a way up here. Let's get us some beam structurals. Actually, before that, let me grab this pillar to help us out. And then I'm gonna use that to just guide where this ladder will go. I'm kind of wanting to do rods for the actual steps. So far, so good. I'm digging it. Okay, I've got to test whether I can get up this ladder well. Oh, I think the rods might be a little bit too big. 
like I'm not sure I like them like that. But yay, we can totally get up here. So at this point, it's looking a little crazy wazy. I've added what I think is gonna be most of the base of like the branches. And I'm not getting rid of all this extra stuff that has helped me put them there yet. Cause you never know if you want more. But now we need to figure out the leaves. Leaves? Leaves. <laughs> I feel like there's several ways we could do this. One of the best things to use for custom trees is this hanging plant here, right? The only thing is that's a lot of work to get that to like actually go on here and to be enough of them because look how small that is compared to how much we're gonna have to do. So that's one option. We could also do some cute stuff and kind of do a bunch of these rounded bushes with flowers and maybe the plain ones as well. I'm kind of thinking that route. That might be really cute if I can figure that out. Another option is this dot garland. The thing with this is that I can literally place them like all over like this and probably just do a thousand of these. Plus these can be moved around with the transform tool. So that would be a great help. And then if you just color it, a green grass color all throughout, that could end up working well. I still feel like we'd need a ton of them, but it would just be so much easier that way. Because I know the flower bushes would be so cute, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of try that out a bit. Wait, it's not even recognizing that it's on top of it. <gasps> this might ruin everything. You know what I'm gonna do instead? We're gonna use these on the roof and it's gonna be beautiful. So I feel so dumb. I forgot that I could transform the cube onto the branch and then put the bush on it. Pray for me, cause this is a lot of work y'all. This is hard. I wanna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, it's several hours from when I last talked to you, but the treehouse is complete. There's a lot of new things you didn't see, so get ready. Here she be, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's so far up there. As you can see, I put a lot of flowers on the grass everywhere because I kind of wanted to look similar to the inspo pic, which is so beautiful. I don't know if it is the best decision, <laughs> but let me take you all around this beautiful treehouse. There she is. I absolutely am in love with this build. So let's go up and see the actual inside. Well, okay, before we see the inside, actually, let me show you around the exterior <laughs> up close. So this is what we've got. You can kind of see inside a little bit right now. But yeah, I added more onto the floor because I was struggling with like these leaves and everything, like what to do up there. I know Pita Bread has done tree houses before. So I just looked up tree house builds in Bloxburg on YouTube and I saw that people did like a lot of this similar thing where they just put the tree on the platform and it's not realistic at all but it works for Bloxburg. <laughs> so yeah I just had to make this bigger to put more trees on there and then I still did the garland thing the dot garland so just adding some extra leafiness and whatnot and I yes I did put oh yeah I don't know if I can get through here I can yes <laughs> I did put the flower bushes all over the roof and then let's go inside look how cute this is look at that sun shining okay enough of that let's go oh my gosh okay so here we have our tea tree house, I guess. Tea room, tea party, tree house, whatever you want to call it. And you walk in, there's a bookcase and there's also a place to sit and rock. Maybe sip some tea, maybe read a book. There's also this seat here and then a little tea party setup and a little kitchen where you can make some food, make some tea, all that jazz. And I just love this. Like, look out the window. It's so beautiful, so pretty. Let me know in the comments, have you tried to make a tree house in blocks? How did it go? Because for me, it was a struggle. <laughs> but it was fun and I'm so glad with the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye! ba do ba ja ba lee ba A flu ba flee bo flee A heap a deep a a nee ba Anyway. <laughs> this wall trim's- Wall trim? <laughs> this wall trim seems intense.